and welcome back to a new video here on FKJ Books. Today I'm going to be doing my first wrap-up of 2017. So at the beginning of the year I decided instead of doing monthly wrap-ups I want to do wrap-ups in a certain number of books and I want to do them in groups of four which is kind of weird because I know a lot of people do them in groups of five but I just I preferred to do them in fours so then it's I don't know I don't know what it is. I just felt like four was a good number and I'd go with that. So here with me today I have books one to four and I'm just really behind on filming this because I'm a hundred pages from finishing book eight so obviously I'm really close to filming books five to eight and I haven't even filmed books one to four yet so yeah I really need to get this video filmed so that then I can carry on filming them and hopefully do it a bit quicker next time so that obviously I remember more of the books so yeah I read these a while ago so the first book I read this year is The Goldfish Boy by Lisa Thompson. This was the Waterstones book of the month for January and I have done a full review of it so I will link that down below. I was thinking then, will I link it down below? I sometimes say that and I forget, but I will. I'll link it down below and I have done a full review on this one. I enjoyed it, it was very good. I gave it four stars, it was a mystery, it was about this boy who is dealing with OCD, it was about this really interesting neighbourhood, cul-de-sac. And I really enjoyed it. I feel like I read the, like I said, this is the first book I read of the year. And this has really stuck with me. I remember a lot about it. I really remember the characters. I feel like one day I would reread this book, which is really positive. Because I don't always feel like that about books. But I did really enjoy this one, really got along with it. I think the only reason I gave it four stars, not a little bit higher, was because when the mystery unraveled, it wasn't too shocking. And that's kind of the only little problem I had with it. But I loved the character development. I loved just kind of getting to know everybody in this place and it was a brilliant book and I definitely recommend The Goldfish Boy and I will be looking out for more books by this author. I, I believe this is the debut so I'll be looking out for more of these and I love this cover, it's just such a beautiful cover. Okay, moving on to the second book and the second book I read was A Series of Unfortunate Events, book seven, The Vile Village. Okay, I have really enjoyed reading books one to six of A Series of Unfortunate Events and this one I just didn't enjoy that much. I enjoyed it a little, I gave it three stars, so it was, it was okay, it wasn't awful, I didn't hate it, but I just didn't love it, I didn't have, I didn't, I mean these oftentimes I can just read obviously in one sitting, they're quite short, they're quick paced, things like that, but this one I just kind of kept putting down and doing something else, and I felt like this was the book that I, I didn't, it wasn't actually, but I felt like this was the slowest I read out of these books. Um, and I just, I don't know, I think what happened was I started reading this book, I read a couple of chapters and I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch the first episode of the Netflix series, because of course the Netflix series came out. And I did not enjoy the Netflix series. I didn't really like the children who, or the way the children played the children in the Netflix series, as opposed to the film. And whenever I've been reading these books, I've been imagining the film and the children from the film who I loved. And now when I read it, I was imagining something different, I just didn't enjoy it as much. So I think what I'm going to have to do is watch the film again, which isn't the best thing ever, but still, I enjoyed it more. Watch the film again and then I'll continue reading the series and read book 8 and hopefully I can kind of get back into it and finally wrap this series up. Because there's 13 books, obviously this is book 7, but I don't know, I just didn't love it. This was my least favourite book of this month and I kind of felt a little bit disappointed with it. So yeah, and I usually really enjoy that series. So the third book I read this year was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I have been meaning to read this book forever. I've had it for a couple of years and I just never got around to picking it up and I don't know why. I think it's because, I don't know, it kind of feels so heavy but it's not really that big. It's just such a heavy weight book. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this. I gave it four stars. I can't wait to read the second one, Hollow City. I think I'm probably gonna enjoy that one more but I don't know how people enjoy them. But I think things are really about to kick in. Uh, I really enjoyed the beginning of this book. A lot of people say the beginning's a bit slow and they couldn't get into it. I actually loved the beginning, getting to know Jacob and stuff, and I really, it was one of my favourite parts of the book, I really enjoyed that. So I enjoyed the beginning, I obviously enjoyed meeting the Peculiars, and I had a great time with this book. I gave it four stars because um, there was a few parts that went a little bit slow for me, and that was kind of in the middle, I don't know why, I just obviously have a weird little... Um, so some parts were a little bit dragged but it was still a really brilliant book and I really enjoyed it and I did watch the movie as well and I also gave the movie four stars and I, it's a bit weird, I can't decide, I think I preferred the book but the movie was also very good um, but kind of different. Either way, really good book, can't wait to carry on with this series. And then finally, what is 
probably my favourite book of the month, but also the book that seems to have left my mind almost, so I'm a bit unsure about it, and that is Unboxed by Non Prep. Now I actually have this little tag in here, because I got the book for Christmas, and this was a label of something, so I actually used the label when I was reading the book, so I just kept it in there. Um, this is a very tiny book and very quick read. Um, I haven't read anything else by Non Prep, but I do own two of her other books, so I will be reading those soon. This was so different than I expected it to be. I gave this book five stars. Now when I started out this book, I was kind of like, eh, yeah, this is okay. And then I got so into the characters, and they kind of, every character has something that I connected with. And basically it's about these five friends who, one of their friends dies and they have to go get this memory box. Um, and they kind of have all drifted apart. It's just such a, I don't know, it just felt so real and so true and there were so many moments I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. And I felt I really connected to the book by the time I finished it. And it was very emotional and I just felt like for such a short book, how I could get so connected to the characters, I just, I didn't even know. It was crazy. I did not think I would enjoy this book as much as I did. And I really, really did. And it's such a beautiful looking book as well. I love this cover. And I definitely would recommend this if you're looking for a quick read. And I couldn't believe that it kind of packed such a punch in such a small little um, package. But I really, really did enjoy this. And it was a really fantastic read. And the characters were so brilliant. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I would definitely recommend that. So overall, I had a good start to the year with the first four books that I read. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these. And thumbs up if you enjoy this way of wrap-ups. I will be filming five to eight very soon. Uh, so you can keep your eyes out for that. And then I will continue to do these throughout the year. So I'll see you guys next time, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already or if you are a newbie, and I'll see you then. Goodbye!